outstanding demand from all telecom operators in the country and the spectrum trading and sharing norms may soon see the light of day with the cabinet taking it up for decision later today. Malvika Jain joins us now to give us all the details. Malvika, how beneficial would the guidelines be for all telcos in India? Uh, well, like you mentioned, this has been a long-pending demand of all telecom operators. Um, this is something that the industry feels is required for the purpose of consolidation to improve efficiency of operations and also uh, to make their operations more profitable. And now, uh, if these guidelines uh, were to go through, these are a part of the National Telecom Policy of 2012. Uh, the key highlights uh, potentially could be, and this is uh, a part of the proposal that is, being going, uh, that is going to be put up before the Cabinet of Final Decision, um, will only be taken later in the evening. One is that uh, all uh, kinds of spectrum, including 3G spectrum, uh, can be uh, shared um, between uh, telecom companies. Uh, whatever spectrum, uh, whether it is acquired through uh, trading or sharing, uh, it could be uh, shared by telecom companies and also a key decision which the cabinet will be taking today uh, relates to the quantum of levy on spectrum sharing and trading. There is a proposal uh, to levy 13% um, uh, on uh, the spectrum which will be traded and this is something that telecom companies uh, have been resisting. So now it remains to be seen. Uh, what will be the final count force of the spectrum trading and sharing guidelines. But all in all, this will be a positive for the telecom sector. All right, Malvika, thanks a lot.